The standing electric scooters or e-scooters have become all the rage today as they are an efficient way to make short trips around town without having to worry about either the environmental effects or the cost of fuel. But there was a time when a different kind of scooter dominated the scene of two wheels transportation, the Vespa scooter. Our story begins in the year 1884 when a 20 year old Italian boy founded a company named Piaggio. After a few years, the company began to produce rail carriages, goods vans, coaches, engines, and truck bodies. Then during the World War II, the company even built airplanes and seaplanes. The war-torn country of Italy was left with bumpy roads and even a bumpier economy. So Enrico Piaggio wished to come up with a low-cost transportation product for the masses, a perfect vehicle for the bumpy roads. Enter the Paperino, a scooter inspired by motorcycles used by parachutists. Though humble in beginnings, it paved the way for something extraordinary. Finally in 1946, The world was introduced to the first Vespa with a 98 cc engine, 3.2 horsepower and a top speed of 60 km per hour. It had a sleek wasp shaped design, hence the name Vespa, which means wasp in Italian. In just 1 year, sales skyrocketed from 2484 to over 10000 units and by 1950 Vespa was a global sensation produced in 13 countries and sold in 114 nations as technology evolved so did Vespa the 1953 Vespa 125 had a major engine upgrade that increased its power output to 5 horsepower and top speed to 75 km per hour Then the Vespa 150 GS was introduced which further pushed boundaries with a top speed of 100 km per hour. Vespa was not just about transportation. It was also about adventure, style and flair. They became a fashion statement after Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn scooted around town on a Vespa in the great 1953 romantic comedy Roman Holiday. Sadly in 2003 the company came close to bankruptcy mostly due to the millions of dollars spent on plans and products which have never been released. But the company managed to deal with the financial problems and has still remained above the surface. So although the Vespa scooters have been on the decline in popularity lately when they had their moment it sure looked fun